What is up, y'all? Forgive the angle, y'all. Forgive the angle. Just listen to the message because I I don't got no tripod, no nothing with me. I'm trying to figure out the way. Right now, I'm holding my phone up with Vaseline and a water bottle. So, we don't got much time. All right, hold on. First of all, y'all, I got Dairy Queen, the chicken strip basket with um fries, right? I got the six-piece. They're going to give me one buffalo sauce. What am I going to do with that? Anyway. So, I have a public service announcement. Okay? And today, I'm going to need y'all to correct your kids. What, girl? I said, correct your kids. Wait, hold up, hold up. Wait. We didn't hear you. Say one more time for the people in the back. Correct your kids. One more time for the people in the front. Um, <laughs> Correct your kids. Okay? And I know a lot of you guys think that correcting your child means you're hurting them or... First of all, I said my prayers so don't come from me. And any time you're about to eat, you make sure you thank God first because he's the reason why you have food. Thank you. I know I look real rough, y'all, but I don't even care. I look real rough, but I'm going to just... It's cool. Like, I'm going to just post it. I'm still going to post it looking rough. No excuses today. So, anyways, um, I know a lot of y'all think that correcting your kids is being mean to them, okay? But that's not what that means. When you don't correct your kids, you're hurting them. So, if you think you're hurting your kids now by not correcting them, you are hurting... No, yeah. Yeah, by not correcting them, you're hurting... Yeah, you're hurting them. You're hurting them. You're hurting them when you don't correct them. You're hurting them when you don't discipline them and teach them right from wrong. It's going to help, y'all. It's a way of life. It's going to help them in the future. It's going to help them throughout their life to know what is right, to know what is wrong, to have respect for themselves, and to have respect for others. Teach your kids manners. Teach them how to respect, respect themselves. Teach them how to respect their elders. Teach them how to respect others. Y'all, if you don't do this, you literally, you guys create monsters when you don't correct your kids, right? And when you create monsters, other people have to deal with them. And a lot of people who don't correct their kids, and their kids grow up to be, like, bad, they end up in jail and stuff. Why? Because you never taught them discipline. They always thought it was okay to get away with doing this and to get away with doing that and to get away with talking to people this way and that way. Y'all, I'm telling you, each kid is different. So y'all have to figure out how to correct your ch child children accordingly. But I'm going to tell you something now. If you don't figure out a good way to correct your kids and get them in line, they are going to run all over you. Like a racehorse, honey. I am not playing with you. They is going to run all over you like a racehorse. A lot of you guys think it's cute. Ooh, dropping slobber. A lot of y'all think it's cute to um let your kids cuss. You think it's cute to let your kids shake their butt. Y'all you know, think it's cute. Mm-hmm. You gotta literally get a kick out of your kids acting bad, acting grown and all that until they're older and they start disrespecting you. And they don't listen to you. And they start hitting you. And then what? Because if you teach them now, you have to teach them that you're the boss. Okay? They're not the boss. They're, your kids are not your boss. You are the boss. You're not being mean. You put that foot down and let them know I am your mom. I am your dad. This is how I'm going. This is what's going to be, period. Don't let them, don't let your children talk you out of things. Like, well, I, I don't want to do that right now, Ma. I don't want to clean my room right now. Can I just do it later? Can I go put my friends first? Can I just do No. You take care of your responsibilities first. You clean your room first. Then you go play with your friends. It's a privilege to go play with your friends. So if you want to have them privileges, that means you're going to do your responsibilities first. What you're teaching them is discipline, not just for your household, but for their life. If they learn that they, if they're learning these small things now to handle, clean their room first and then go play, they'll learn that, okay, I have to pay my bills first before I go buy myself a, a new pair of shoes that I want or buy myself whatever they want to buy. So, y'all, I cannot press you. I cannot express how important it is to correct your children and and the Bible says, you spit a rod, you hate your son. And a lot of y'all be like, I don't have to um, hit my kid to correct them. You don't. There's many forms of discipline. But 
Beating them is a very good form to keep them in line. And, and I'm saying that because I've been beat. When I was younger, not beat like my parents didn't abuse me. They never abused me. But they would beat me to keep me in line. I'm telling you because I used to, I was one of them kids that tested my mom and my dad. I did. I tested them. I had a smart mouth. And I'm going to see if you're going to do what you say you're going to do. And they did. And I'm not going to lie to y'all. It helped me as an adult because I'm very respectful. I'm a very respectful adult. I know how to go about things. I have respect for my parents. I have respect for my elders. They were on me. And so it helped me become a better adult now. Like when I was a kid, you know, I was a little rough. But it helped keep them in line, but keep me in line. But also, if y'all don't know how to keep your kids in line, you can't take them nowhere because they're not in line. You can't, you can't, no one wants to babysit your kids. Why? Because they're not in line. You got to start in the crib. My mom told me, I, okay, you start in the crib. You start correcting your children when they're little. When they're babies, I'm not saying hit them when they're babies, but I'm saying when they're when they're little and they teach them yes and what no means, what yes means, what this means, what that means. Cause they're smart. You have to teach them. Teach them, okay, no, don't touch that. No, don't do that. You teach them and you you move them and guide them. If your kid is walking all over you, right? And you have no control. And they can, and your kid might be young, or your kid might be a teenager, and you have no control, you wanna know what it is? They don't respect you. They don't. They have no respect for you. Because if they have respect for you, you won't have to keep repeating yourself. You won't have to be stressed out. You have to get your kids to respect you. Okay? And so, like I said, everyone doesn't need beat. But some of y'all have kids that need beat. And that's just a fact. Like, some kids need beat. Tap that butt, put them in the corner, and stand your ground. No, I said you're going to stay there until I'm done, until you, until I say you get out the corner, or whatever the case may be. If you need to put a little bit of, you know, authority in your voice. I hope y'all can see me, because I can barely see me. And I'm sweating on my edges. Are, uh, uh. Oh. If you need to put a little bit of authority in your voice, do it. Do it. They need to know that they can't mess with you they need to know that if i do this if i talk to my mom this way if i talk to my dad this way there's going to be consequences if i don't listen if i don't do this and that there's going to be consequences like i said you don't always have to hit them but you can remove um the stuff that means the most to them and when i say remove stuff that means the most to them i do not mean remove it for two minutes no not let me not be dramatic I don't mean remove it for a day and then give it back. No. Stand your ground. If they have not been listening all day long and you warn them, I'm going to take your path from you. And they still not listening and they still not being bad, take the path for a week. Take the TV away and start making them read books. Let's see how it works then. Okay? No TV, no pad, no phone, no nothing. Read books. Let's see how, see, let's see how much they act up then. You have to stand your ground when you're when you're disciplining your children. You have to. Because otherwise, they're going to take you as a joke. They're not going to take you serious. They're not going to think... They're just going to think, hey, I can do what I want, when I want, how I want. And then you wonder why they listen to their aunt or their, their grandma their grandma, or your friend more they listen to you. Why? Because they respect them more they respect you. Simple as that. That's just a fact. You can't let them... Do what you they want, y'all. You can't. You can't t let them control you. You can't let them run you and then go to sleep anytime they want to go to sleep. Do whatever they want to do. Do it when they want to do it. They're not grown, okay? You don't have to be your kid's friend. A lot of y'all be like, I don't want to be how my parent was. I want my kids to tell me everything. I want my kids to be close with me. Okay, that's cool. You can have your kids be close with you. But they're not your friends. See, your children become your friend when you're grown. And a lot of you going to try to say, I was never titty. You don't have no kids. So how are you going to sit here and talk about kids? Well, 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 when? When? I've been a kid before. And I've had parents. We all have. So I can still speak on it. Two, I don't have to have kids of my own to be a mother. I have lots of nieces and nephews. And it's not like... Like, I know how to take care of kids. Like, you know what I mean? I help raise them. It's not like, I don't know. There's, and it, there was a time also where God 
put a little girl in my life for a while. And I was dang, I was dang near her mother. I had her for a while. It was me and her. I had to provide for her. I had to make sure that I was working. My, my schedule was around her, her daycare schedule. Like, everything was... I was a mother. I'm a mother, but I don't have no babies of my own. But I can speak for it because I know how to raise children. But also, I was a child before, and I know what things work for me. I was one of them kids that was rebellious. I was rude. I talked smart. I, I was bad. But my mom, she would get, get me in check. My dad, she get, my, when I talk smart to my mom, roll my eyes, pop, she pop in my mouth. She, if I roll my eyes, pop in my face. She's not playing. She was not playing. You're not going to roll your eyes at me. I am your, my mama tell me all the time, there's not going to be two Dinas up in here. And I never knew she meant she's talking about me and her can't be the same way. All I'm saying is, y'all, you are a great parent. Okay, don't put yourself down if your kid's not listening to you. You have to just figure out what you have to do to get them to listen, okay? It may, it's a trial and error. When your child is born, there is no book just sitting on the table telling you, hey, this is how you raise this child. No, you have to learn. Trial and error. Figure out what it is that you have to do to get them in line and do it. But one of the main things that you will need to do to keep them in line is stay in that ground and stay there. Don't waver. If you tell your kids... I'm going to take them toys from you. Take them. Take them. Don't take them for a day. Give them at least three days. If you just watch your kids a new bike or a new power or whatever the case may be, and they're not taking or a new hoverboard, and they're not being responsible, they're just leaving it outside, you know, and then, well, it can get stolen from somebody else, and they're not listening to nothing you say. Take that bike from them, that hoverboard, that power roll hider or something like that, and don't give it back to them until they realize this is not no joke. I'm not playing. When I was, I'll, I'm gonna give y'all one more example because I'm not gonna keep rambling on. When I was a kid, my dad had a playroom for my sister and I, and we had all these Barbies and stuff. And he would tell us every day, mind you, y'all, I was a little girl, like y'all, I was like kindergarten and first grade. So I'm talking like five, six years old. My dad would tell us, uh, clean that, clean that back room with all the toys in it. He told us twice, I think. The first time he said clean that room. The second time he said. If you don't clean that room, I'm going to throw all your toys away. Facts. You know what me and my sister did? We didn't clean the room. We left it dirty. We went to school. I came back from school. You know, the first thing I wanted to do when I was a little girl was go play with Barbies. I went back to the playroom. All my life, all my toys were gone. He didn't put my toys up in no attic in the basement. He threw them away. <laughs> he told me, if you guys don't clean your room, this, 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 this playroom, I'm throwing y'all's toys away. My life, my dad threw all my toys away. He took he took our food, I mean our food. He took our um, toys down to the dumpster, down the street from our house, and threw all of our toys away in garbage bags. Fact. We had to, um, no, re, re, what's the word? Um, we had to get all new toys and stuff. And just let, we get, it was reaccumulate everything. We had to reaccumulate all of our toys and all, over time. Went, he didn't just go take us to the store and buy stuff, mm-mm. When we get toys here and there, that's how we reaccumulate. And so, I learned then, he meant what he said. He stood his ground. He didn't scream at us or nothing like that. He showed us. I'm not playing with you, and I'm going to show you I'm not playing with you. So, sometimes y'all takes actions more than your words. You can yell at your kids all day, but when they hear you yelling every day all the time, they know that's all you're going to do is yell. So, you're going to have to put some actions before it, okay? I love you guys. I no professional. I just have knowledge on certain things. I hope this helped. But I really felt like I needed to make this video. So I don't know who it was for. But correct them kids. I love y'all. Make sure you follow me on all social medias. I love you guys. Stay tuned. Make sure you watch my other YouTube and my vlogs and all that. Okay? Okay.